Higher spin theory or higher spin gravity is a common name for field theories that contain massless fields of spin greater than 2. Usually, the spectrum of such theories contains the graviton is a massless spin 2 field, which explains the second name. Massless fields are gauge fields and the theories should be almost completely fixed by these higher spin symmetries. Higher spin theories are supposed to be consistent quantum theories and, for this reason, to give examples of quantum gravity. Most of the interest in the topic is due to the ADS CFT correspondence, where there is a number of conjectures relating higher spin theories to weakly coupled conformal field theories. It is important to note that only certain parts of these theories are known at present, in particular, standard action principles are not known, and not many examples have been worked out in detail except some specific toy models such as the higher spin extension of pure churn simons jack u teitelboim self dual chiral and weyl gravity theories topic <laughs> free higher spin fields systematic study of massless arbitrary spin fields was initiated by christian fronsdal a free spin S field can be represented by a tensor gauge field delta phi mu 1 mu 2 mu S equals mu 1 she mu 2 mu S plus permutations Display style delta phi underscore mu underscore one mu underscore two mu underscore s equals partial underscore mu underscore one she underscore mu underscore two mu underscore s plus text permutations. This linearized gauge symmetry generalizes that of massless spin one photon delta a mu equals mu she display style delta a underscore mu equals partial underscore mu she and that of massless spin two graviton delta h mu nu equals mu she nu plus nu she mu Display style delta h underscore mu nu equals partial underscore mu she underscore nu plus partial underscore nu she underscore mu. Fronstall also found linear equations of motion and a quadratic action that is invariant under the symmetries above. For example, the equations are white medium square phi mu one mu two mu S minus mu one new phi new mu two mu S plus permutations plus one two mu one mu two phi New new mu three mu S plus permutations equals zero Display style square phi underscore mu underscore one mu underscore two mu underscore S left partial underscore mu underscore one partial carrot new phi underscore new mu underscore two mu underscore s plus text permutations right plus frac 1 2 left partial underscore mu underscore 1 partial underscore mu underscore 2 phi carrot new underscore new mu underscore 3 mu underscore s plus text permutations right equals 0 where in the first bracket one needs s minus 1 display style s 1 Terms more to make the expression symmetric, and in the second bracket, one needs s s minus one two 
minus one display style s s one two to one permutations. The equations are gauge invariant provided the field is double traceless. Phi new new lambda lambda mu five mu two mu s equals zero display style phi caret new underscore new caret lambda underscore lambda mu underscore five mu underscore two mu underscore s equals zero and the gauge parameter is traceless she new new mu three mu s minus one equals zero display style she carrot new underscore new mu underscore three mu underscore s one equals zero Essentially, the higher spin problem can be stated as a problem to find a non-trivial interacting theory with at least one massless higher spin field higher in this context usually means greater than two. <laughs> No-go theorems Possible interactions of massless higher spin particles with themselves and with low spin particles are over constrained by the basic principles of quantum field theory like Lorentz invariance. Many results in the form of no-go theorems have been obtained up to date. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Flat space. Most of the no-go theorems constrain interactions in the flat space. One of the most well-known is the Weinberg low energy theorem that explains why there are no macroscopic fields corresponding to particles of spin 3 or higher. The Weinberg theorem can be interpreted in the following way: Lorentz invariance of the S matrix is equivalent for massless particles to decoupling of longitudinal states. The latter is equivalent to gauge invariance under the linearized gauge symmetries above. These symmetries lead for S greater than Two display style s greater than two two too many conservation laws that trivialize scattering so that s equals one display style s equals one. Another well-known result is the Coleman-Mandela theorem that, under certain assumptions, states that any symmetry group of S matrix is necessarily locally isomorphic to the direct product of an internal symmetry group and the Poincaré group. This means that there cannot be any symmetry generators transforming as tensors of the Lorentz group. S matrix cannot have symmetries that would be associated with higher spin charges. Massless higher spin particles also cannot consistently couple to non trivial gravitational backgrounds. An attempt to simply replace partial derivatives with the covariant ones turns out to be inconsistent with gauge invariance. Other no-go results include a direct analysis of possible interactions and show, for example, that the gauge symmetries cannot be deformed in a consistent way so that they form an algebra. Anti-de Sitter space In anti-de Sitter space many of the flat space no-go results are invalid. In particular, it was shown by Fradkin and Vasiliev that one can consistently couple massless higher spin fields to gravity at the first non-trivial order. Nevertheless, an analog of the coleman mandela theorem was obtained by Madesina and Zhibodov. Adds, CFT correspondence replaces the flat space S matrix with the holographic correlation functions. It then can be shown that the asymptotic higher spin symmetry in Anti de Sitter space implies that the holographic correlation functions are those of the singlet sector of free vector model conformal field theory. See also higher spin adds, CFT correspondence below. Let us stress that all endpoint correlation functions are not vanishing, so this statement is not exactly the analog of the triviality of the S matrix, which would be that the conformal field theory is a generalized free field one. Topic. Various approaches to higher spin theories 
The existence of many higher spin theories is well justified on the basis of ADS, correspondence, but it should be noted that none of these hypothetical theories is known in full detail. Most of the common approaches to the higher spin problem are described below. Topic: Conformal higher spin theories. Usual massless higher spin symmetries generalize the action of the linearized diffeomorphisms from the metric tensor to higher spin fields. In the context of gravity one may also be interested in conformal gravity that enlarges diffeomorphisms with weyl transformations g mu nu omega 2 x g m u new display style g underscore mu new right arrow omega carrot 2 x g underscore mu new where omega x display style omega x is an arbitrary function the simplest example of a conformal gravity is in four dimensions s equals d 4 x minus g c mu nu lambda rho c mu nu lambda rho Display style mathcal s equals int mathrm d carrot four x sqrt g c underscore mu nu lambda rho c carrot mu nu lambda rho. One can try to generalize this idea to higher spin fields by postulating the linearized gauge transformations of the form delta phi mu one mu two mu S equals mu one she mu two mu s plus g mu one mu two zeta mu three mu s plus permutations Display style delta phi underscore mu underscore one mu underscore two mu underscore s equals partial underscore mu underscore one she underscore mu underscore two mu underscore s plus g underscore mu underscore one mu underscore two zeta underscore mu underscore three mu underscore s plus text permutations where zeta mu one mu s minus two display style zeta underscore mu underscore one mu underscore s two is a higher spin generalization of the weyl symmetry. As different from massless higher spin fields, conformal higher spin fields are much more tractable. They can propagate on non-trivial gravitational background and admit interactions in flat space. In particular, the action of conformal higher spin theories is known to some extent, it can be obtained as an effective action for a free conformal field theory coupled to the conformal higher spin background. Collective dipole The idea is conceptually similar to the reconstruction approach just described, but performs a complete reconstruction in some sense. One begins with the free O n display style oxygen mononitride model partition function and performs a change of variables by passing from the O n display style oxygen mononitride scalar fields phi i x display style phi caret i x I equals one N display style I equals one N to a new bi local variable psi x 
y equals i phi i x phi i y Display style psi x y equals sum underscore i phi caret i x phi caret i y in the limit of large n display style n. This change of variables is well defined, but has a non-trivial Jacobian. The same partition function can then be rewritten as a path integral over by local psi x y. Display style psi x y. It can also be shown that in the free approximation, the bi-local variables describe free massless fields of all spins. S equals zero one two three. Display style s equals zero one two three. In anti-de Sitter space. Therefore, the action in term of the bi-local Psi x y display style psi x y is a candidate for the action of a higher spin theory. Topic: Holographic RG flow. The idea is that the equations of the exact renormalization group can be reinterpreted as equations of motions with the RG energy scale playing the role of the radial coordinate in anti-de Sitter space. This idea can be applied to the conjectural duals of higher spin theories, for example, to the free O n oxygen mononitride model. Noether procedure Noether procedure is a canonical perturbative method to introduce interactions. One begins with a sum of free quadratic actions S 2 and linearized gauge symmetries delta 0 delta underscore 0 which are given by Fronstall Lagrangian and by the gauge transformations above. The idea is to add all possible corrections that are cubic in the fields S 3 and, at the same time, allow for field dependent deformations delta 1 of the gauge transformations. One then requires the full action to be gauge invariant. Zero equals delta s equals delta zero s two plus delta zero s three plus delta one s Two plus display style zero equals delta s equals delta underscore zero s underscore two plus delta underscore zero s underscore three plus delta underscore one s underscore two plus and solves this constraint at the first non-trivial order in the weak field expansion. Note that delta zero s two equals Zero display style delta underscore zero s underscore two equals zero because the free action is gauge invariant. Therefore, the first condition is delta zero s three plus delta one s two equals zero. Display style delta underscore zero s underscore three plus delta underscore one s underscore two equals zero. One has to mod out by the trivial solutions that result from nonlinear field redefinitions in the free action. The deformation procedure may not stop at this order, and one may have to add quartic terms. S four display style s underscore four and further corrections delta. 2 
display style delta underscore two to the gauge transformations that are quadratic in the fields and so on. The systematic approach is via BVBRST techniques. Unfortunately, the Noether procedure approach has not given yet any complete example of a higher spin theory, the difficulties being not only in the technicalities but also in the conceptual understanding of locality in higher spin theories. Unless locality is imposed one can always find a solution to the Noether procedure for example, by inverting the kinetic operator in delta 0 s 3 plus delta 1 s 2 equals 0 Display style delta underscore zero s underscore three plus delta underscore one s underscore two equals zero. That results from the second term, or the same time, by performing a suitable non-local redefinition, one can remove any interaction. At present, it seems that higher spin theories cannot be fully understood as field theories due to quite non-local interactions they have. Topic. Reconstruction The higher spin adds, CFT correspondence can be used in the reverse order, one can attempt to build the interaction vertices of the higher spin theory in such a way that they reproduce the correlation functions of a given conjectural CFT dual. This approach takes advantage of the fact that the kinematics of ADS theories is, to some extent, equivalent to the kinematics of conformal field theories in one dimension lower, one has exactly the same number of independent structures on both sides. In particular, the cubic part of the action of the type A higher spin theory was found by inverting the three-point functions of the higher spin currents in the free scalar CFT. Some quartic vertices have been reconstructed to <laughs> Three dimensions and Chern-Simons In three dimensions neither gravity nor massless higher spin fields have any propagating degrees of freedom. It is known that the Einstein–Hilbert action with negative cosmological constant can be rewritten in the Chern–Simons form for S L 2 R S L 2 R Display style SL two math bound R O plus SL two math bound R S equals S C S A minus S C S A S C S A equals K Four Pi T R A D A plus two three Display style s equals s underscore c s a s underscore c s bar a q quad q quad s underscore c s a equals frac k four pi int mathrm t r a wedge dar plus frac two three a wedge a wedge a, where there are two independent s l two r display style s l two math bound r connections. Display style a and a display style bar a due to isomorphisms s o two two s l two r s l two r Display style so two two sim SL two math bound R O plus SL two math bound R and S L two R S O two one Display style SL two math bound R sim so two one The algebra S L two 
R display style SL2 mathbound R can be understood as the Lorentz algebra in three dimensions. These two connections are related to Vilbein E mu a display style E underscore mu carrot a and spin connection omega mu a b display style omega underscore mu carrot a b Note that in three dimensions, the spin connection, being anti-symmetric in A B display style A B is equivalent to an S O two one display style so two one vector via omega tilde mu a equals E A B C Omega mu B C Display style tilde Omega underscore mu carrot a equals Epsilon carrot a underscore B C Omega underscore mu carrot B C where E A B C Display style Epsilon carrot A B C is the totally anti-symmetric Levi Civita symbol. Higher spin extensions are straightforward to construct, instead of S L 2 R S L 2 R Display style S L 2 mathbound R O plus S L 2 mathbound R Connection one can take a connection of G G Display style math frac G O plus math frac G where G display style math frac G is any Lie algebra containing the gravitational S L two R display style S L two math bound R subalgebra. Such theories have been extensively studied due their relation to ADS, CFT and W algebras as asymptotic symmetries. Vasilyev equations Vasilyev equations are formally consistent gauge invariant nonlinear equations whose linearization over a specific vacuum solution describes free massless higher spin fields on anti de Sitter space. The Vasilyev equations are classical equations and no Lagrangian is known that starts from canonical two-derivative Fronsdal Lagrangian and is completed by interactions terms. There is a number of variations of Vasilyev equations that work in three, four and arbitrary number of space-time dimensions. Vasilyev's equations admit supersymmetric extensions with any number of supersymmetries and allow for Yang-Mills gaugings. Vasilyev's equations are background independent, the simplest exact solution being anti de Sitter space. However, locality has not been an assumption used in the derivation and, for this reason, some of the results obtained from the equations are inconsistent with higher spin theories and adds CFT duality. Locality issues remain to be clarified. Topic. Higher spin adds, CFT correspondence Higher spin theories are of interest as models of adds, CFT correspondence. Klebanov Polyakov conjecture In 2002, Klebanov and Polyakov put forward a conjecture that the free and critical n display style oxygen mononitride vector models as conformal field theories in 3 dimensions should be dual to a theory in 4 dimensional anti de Sitter space with infinite number of massless higher spin gauge fields this conjecture was further extended and generalized to gross niveau and supersymmetric models the most interesting extension is to a class of chern simons matter theories. The rationale for the conjectures is that there are some conformal field theories that, in addition to the stress tensor, have an infinite number of conserved tensors. C J C A 
two A S equals zero Display style partial carrot C J underscore C A underscore two A underscore S equals zero where spin runs over all positive integers S equals one two three Display style S equals one two three in the O N Display style oxygen mononitride model the spin is even. The stress tensor corresponds to the S equals two Display style S equals two case. By the standard ADS CFT law, the fields that are dual to conserved currents have to be gauge fields. For example, the stress tensor is dual to the spin two graviton field. A generic example of a conformal field theory with higher spin currents is any free CFT. For instance, the free O N display style oxygen mononitride model is defined by s equals 1 2 d d x m phi i m phi j delta i j Display style s equals frac one two int d caret d x partial underscore m phi caret i partial caret m phi caret j delta underscore i j where i j equals one n display style i j equals one n it can be shown that there exist an infinite number of quasi primary operators J A one A two A S equals A one A S Phi I Phi J Delta I J plus Plus terms with different arrangement of derivatives and minus traces. Display style j underscore a underscore one a underscore two a underscore s equals partial underscore a underscore one partial underscore a underscore s phi caret i phi caret j delta underscore i j plus text plus terms with different arrangement of derivatives and minus traces that are conserved. Under certain assumptions it was shown by Maldacena and Zhibodov that conformal field theories with higher spin currents are free ones. Therefore, higher spin theories are generic duals of free conformal field theories. A theory that is dual to the free scalar CFT is called type A in the literature and the theory that is dual to the free fermion CFT is called type B. Another example is the critical vector model, which is a theory with action S equals D three X one two M Phi I M Phi J Delta I J plus Lambda four Phi I Phi J Delta I J two Display style S equals int D carrot three x frac one two partial underscore M phi carrot I partial carrot M phi carrot J delta underscore I J plus frac lambda four phi carrot I phi carrot J delta underscore I J carrot two taken at the fixed point. This theory is interacting and does not have conserved higher spin currents. However, in the large n limit it can be shown to have almost conserved higher spin currents and the conservation is broken by 1 n display style 1 n effects. Topic: 
Gabadil Gopakumar conjecture The conjecture put forward by Gabadil and Gopakumar is an extension of the Klebanov Polyakov conjecture to A D S 3 C F T 2 Display style adds underscore 3 CFT carrot 2. It states that the W N Display style W underscore N Minimal models in the large N display style N limit should be dual to theories with massless higher spin fields and two scalar fields. Massless higher spin fields do not propagate in three dimensions, but can be described, as is discussed above, by the Chern Simons action. However, it is not known to extend this action as to include the matter fields required by the duality. 